Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and it's early Sunday morning. Um, man, I'm just in such a good mood after the Cowboys' victory last night in the playoffs, which is something that does not happen here very often around this town. And so, just thrilled to death, and thought I'd wake up before church this morning and do a little rummaging through the Beast. And I haven't done a Beast Mode video in quite a while, so I thought I'd go through another row of what's in the beast do a little rummaging show you guys uh kind of what's going on in the beast this will be mostly like 1960 early 60s mostly 1960 because i have so many 1960 tops hall of famer cards but uh here we go uh, the first card you see there is a nice 1960 tops dual uh player card with roy face and hall of famer hoyt wilhelm in a near mint seven Nothing like getting it going early with one of the key rookies in the 1960 top set, and that's Carl Yastrzemski. This is a card that I've had since I was a little kid, and so I really have a soft spot for this particular card because uh, I bought it for $12 when I was like, you know, 12, 13 years old. So really love it. I will upgrade this. This is another card I want to get probably a six in. I think it would be just a great card to have, but I'll never get rid of this one. It just means the world to me. So there's a my Yastrzemski rookie. Next up, got several mantles in the 1960 top set. This is one of the multiplayer cards, uh, Mickey Mantle and Ken Boyer. Uh, Ken Boyer had a good career for sure. This is a VG EX4. Then we got Hall of Fame manager Dick Williams, but while he was still playing for the Kansas City Athletics. This is in a near mint seven, so really solid grade there. I'm gonna try to go through these a little bit faster than normal. Not because they're not cool, but just to keep the video, trying to keep it around 15 to 20 minutes. Here's a Willie Mays, just beautiful Mays card here. Great collector grade, excellent mint six. Just very, very sharp. Harmon Killebrew. Near Mint 7. So I got these. I started this idea. This was the first set. I said, hey, I'm going to try to get all the Hall of Famers. And I did it really before the last a couple of years ago, before everything really started exploding on the vintage market. And so some of these grades I wouldn't be able to afford today or wouldn't want to pay what uh, they would command today. So really glad to have started this 60 tops is just one of those awesome years so many cool cards got some neat it's weird the player cards are horizontal <clears throat> then you've got some vertical stuff you've got coaches and managers that are uh horizontal or vertical i'm sorry but here's a awesome walt alston hall of fame manager and near mint to mint eight here's another eight of Hall of Fame manager Joe Gordon. Look how pretty. I love the design of even the manager cards. They're so cool. And I love the, the Chief Wahoo. and I mean, all of it just works. They did a really good job with this. Here's a Al Lopez Hall of Fame manager. 8 OC. It's definitely OC, but not... I mean, I've seen worse. <laughs> and... Uh, <coughs> I don't, I, I'm not a qualifier hater. I, it is what it is. I just want a nice card and with qualifiers for me, as long as it's not just crazy, I will buy them and I can get them so much cheaper. Uh, Lopez, Casey Stengel, and a five. All right, guys, we're going back horizontal again. Mound Magicians with, uh, oh, let me show you the back of the manager cards. They're so cool. They have these awesome cartoons. So cool. It's a habit I developed over on the right. Casey Yanks won nine pennants in the past 11 years. That's his habit of winning pennants. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Okay, sorry. Mound Magicians. Warren Spawn is on that card. Hall of Famer. There's a Louis Aparicio and an excellent to mint six. Uh, 
awesome stand usual you know, five Phillies pitcher Robin Roberts seven got the centering on that is really nice Hammer and Hank Aaron love that card love the the Braves symbol down in the bottom left. Hall of Famer Richie Ashburn on the Cubs, which is not his normal, normally known for team, which is the Phillies, but this is a six. Now, the second biggest rookie, probably after the Yaz in 1960 tops, is the McCovey rookie. And this one's different looking it's like a all-star rookie cup card kind of thing and uh, I think this is when the rookie cup started and this one's a five so solid grade for that card Bob Lewis actually we should start calling Roberto Clemente um, Blue Jacket 66 but just a solid card there for sure. Red Schindienst on the Braves. Second baseman. Five and a half. This is a awesome card. Uh, Sandy Koufax in an excellent Dement six. Beautiful. Followed up right immediately by Mickey Mantle. Like, good grief. This, this set is just stacked with amazing players. Um, four and a half in this, but that's fantastic <laughs> to me for Mantle because of how much they cost. Keeping on Cincy Clouders. Gus Bell on the left, um, and then Frank Robinson in the center. Hall of Famer. Hoyt Wilhelm in a six. My goal was to get sixes on all these. I couldn't do it for sure, but just didn't. But there's an Eddie Matthews in a six. Love all the colors and multiple pictures. And there is a. Uh, American League Kings, Nellie Fox, and Harvey Keen. Those are, this kind of stuff is hard to find because there's just not a lot of them graded. And so you just got to be patient versus the regular base cards, which are more easy to find because people just grade them more. There's a spawn and a six. Starting to get into high numbers now. Um, Orlando Cepeda in a five. <coughs> then there's a bunch of coaches cards with Hall of Famers pictured on them. So here's the Boston Red Sox coaches card, or the, the floating heads. Here we go with the floating heads. Thank you, Tops. But you got uh, Hall of Famer Billy Herman up here. And these are harder to find too, again, because they're just not graded a lot. There's Bob Lemon for the Indians. The Tigers had Luke Appling as one of their coaches. The Yankees had Hall of Fame catcher Bill Dickey. Or apparently just his head was their coach. That's it for the coaches. Back to the regular guys. There's Don Drysdale. And a five and a half, Dandy Don. Yogi Berra and a five. The more and more I hunt for Yogi Berra vintage stuff, the more expensive I'm finding that it is. It's really, he's really popular. Uh, Frank Robinson and a five. Definitely some centering issues there. As there are with a lot of 1960 tops. Snyder. In a four. J 
Jim Bunning for the Tigers in a six. All right, now we get to start a run of the All-Star cards, which are, I think, some of my favorites of all time. There's Willie McCovey, rookie, <laughs> also a rookie card. So if it was modern, that would also have a rookie card, rookie, you know, this emblem or whatever for rookie. Nelly Fox in a six. Eddie Matthews again in a five. Lots of print stuff on 60 Tops too. You see kind of print dots and just, that's very, very common in this set. There's an Aparicio in a six. Alkaline battery. Alkaline line there in a six. Willie Mays in a four. Ernie Banks. It's a really pretty card here. Male in a six. Just a classic card. I think this is a top 300 card. I love it. I mean, the All-Stars that year, I mean, good grief, Mantle, Mays, Aaron Banks, it's just Eddie Matthews, it's just crazy. There's the Hank Aaron. Don Drysdale. Heavy, heavy hitters in that. All right, well, that's it for 1960 Tots. So now we're going to head to 61 Fleer. I got a lot of these just because I'm trying to get different cards of as many Hall of Famers as I can. 61 Fleer, 60 and 61 Fleer are great sets to pick them up. They have different players and personalities, umpires, everybody that is not normally in cards. So there's umpire, Hall of Fame umpire Billy Evans and an eight. Former commissioner Ford Frick in a, in an eight. Chick Hafey, also in an eight. These are really pretty, well-designed cards, for sure. Harry Howman in an eight. Kennesaw Landis in an eight. Tony Lazari, interesting picture because he's with the Cubs here. He was mainly known for being a Yankee during murder, the Murderer's Row era's late 20s. That's in a mint nine. Sam Rice, near mint to mint eight. If you're seeing some of these players, you're like, I don't know who those guys are. Go look them up on Baseball Reference and you can check it out. They also had in 61, these things called new, new card scoops, baseball scoops, and it just shows different highlights from the baseball world. And one of my favorite stories when I was a kid about baseball was the story of Eddie Goodell pinch hitting for the St. Louis Browns. And he was, you know, he was walked on four pitches because he's, you know, he was vertically challenged. And so no way was it where they and it's so amazing that you could have this is the only time the guy had a bat that's during the game you can see all the people and then a photographer could just walk right up <laughs> and take a picture of him while he was at bat it was just hilarious to me and he was told by Bill Veck the owner of the St. Louis Browns that if he swung the bat he would be fined like $500 or something crazy I can't remember the dollar amount but if you want to pause it, you can read the story right there. So, great little card. I love just cards that commemorate things of the game. This is a card I sent in myself. Um, this is a 61 Topps Roger Maris. Top 300 card. 
beautiful. So now we're into 61 tops. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Here we go. I got some more. I got to move faster. Uh, Dick Williams, Hall of Fame manager. Brooksy. Robin Roberts. Most of these should be in sixes, I would think. Um, Nellie Fox, never without a chaw. See, he pretty much has a chewing tobacco plug in his mouth on every picture I ever see the guy in. It's a great rookie from 61 Tops, Ron Santo, Hall of Famer. Love the rookie cup, the big rookie cup. It's always been my favorite. Some League Leader cards that feature Hall of Tons of League Leader cards and 61 Tops that feature Hall of Famers. This is uh, the Batting Leader, so you got uh, Willie Mays here and Blue Jacket 66. Here's the ERA Leaders. You got Don Drysdale on this one. Here's the American League ERA Leaders. You've got Jim Bunning. Pitching leaders, which is simply wins. Uh, Warren Spawn is on this one. Okay, back to regular cards. We got the Richie Ashburn again showing him on the Cubs. This is in a near mint seven. Whitey Herzog, Hall of Fame manager, also with the Kansas City Athletics. So you had Herzog and Dick Williams playing for the Kansas City Athletics back then. Both went on to become Hall of Fame managers. find that kind of neat. Eddie Matthews is a card I sent in as well. Uh, it's only a four, and I guess that corner, I don't know. Uh, I thought it was a better card than that. Sure looks better than a four. 61, they continued the tradition of having manager cards. There's Al Lopez. Walt Alston. Or two of them. Here we go back. Another rookie from 61 Tops, a big one, is Billy Williams. I sent this card in as well back in the long time ago. And 8 OC on that, but love it. Willie Mays, probably my least favorite Willie Mays card, just because it's such a simple portrait, but great card. I mean, a, a great centering. 61's got some print stuff, too, going on quite a bit. There's chairman of the board, Whitey Ford. Dodger Southpaws, Sandy Koufax. This is only a three, but uh, I can't remember. God, I'm going blank on who sent this card to me. Somebody sent it to me as a gift, and um, I'm sorry, I can't remember it in the, in the moment. Really grateful for that, though. Love just adding it. So, awesome. There's Joe Gordon, which I think is pretty much the same picture from his 60 tops. Dandy Don Drysdale. Six and a half. Two more and we're done. Love this card. Uh, it's the same picture as his 60 tops, but great 61 tops star rookie card of Carl Yastrzemski in a six. Love the colors and it's really nice. It's a painting though, which is kind of interesting compared to just a normal picture like that of Stan Musial. <coughs> But there you go. That's the end of that row of the beast. I've got many, many more to go. And uh, so we're about halfway through 1961. So in the next few days, I'll kind of get back rolling with doing these rummage videos to show you guys what's in the beast. Thanks for watching. And I hope everybody has a great Sunday. And keep collecting.